Everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener, man, I have some really, really good news for you. Look, man, the sun is out. It's about 55 degrees here in Pittsburgh. Uh, so, hey, look, I'm going to show you. Let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm doing. This is an exciting day for me because, let me get situated here. It's the first time I've been outside doing some outside planting. Let me show you what I'm doing here real quick. Let me turn the camera. Boom. All right, so here we are. Remember the green stalk garden? Again, I do not get paid by this company, but I brought these gardens with me to uh, from Texas to Pittsburgh. So this is the five tower green stalk garden. I just recharged it with soil. Um, you know, you can look at, I'll put a link for green stalk garden, buy it if you want. I don't have an affiliate program. I don't get paid, but I bought some uh, bib lettuce and I bought some uh, romaine lettuce you'll see there. And we're going to get growing. This is exciting. This is my first time I'm growing outside. As you know, lettuce likes weather anywhere between, you know, that 35 to 70 degrees. That's about it. And that's the time of year we are here. Now, my challenge is this is my backyard. None of it's done yet. Uh, as you'll see, we're going to get it landscaped here in the next few months once grass and other plants will grow well. Once we get well beyond the frost state. The problem is this. The deer come out at night. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do to keep the deer away from those lettuce so it'll be a challenge i'm not sure i'm not sure they're going to come because my my top deck is right here i'm not sure that they would be brave enough to come this close to the house because we have nala my staffordshire terrier who they usually stay away from they don't typically like her barking and all that so we'll see anyway green stalk garden very exciting day if you guys don't have a green stalk check it out man they're really good really easy no weeds no bugs uh and then it's on a base that you can just turn 360 and you water once once a day put it in that top reservoir and go i'm only going to start with two layers this green stalk garden comes with five layers so that's one two are filled and there's five the other thing i'm going to do you'll see here is um kind of exciting um so we started this, we'll show a new gardener series video uh, in a little bit, but these are the, the uh, black semen peppers. These are three year old black semen, uh, excuse me, black semen tomatoes that were in our um, seed starter here. And it's really exciting because uh, I didn't think they would grow, but they've gone gangbusters, the best tomato on the market, in my opinion. It's a black tomato. So I'm gonna take these out of here because they're, they were under the grow lights, uh, what, 10 12 days ago and this is where they are now i'm going to plant them in some bigger containers and allow them to grow a little bit deeper so i'll bring you back after i replant them all right here we are back so what i actually did is i added a third layer and the green stalk garden so we've got at the bottom we've got um <sighs> romaine lettuce we've got this bib lettuce and then what i did up here is i planted uh, a number of radishes. So radishes come up in 30 to 40 days. So we should have somewhat of a sour growth. That's what it is. I'll turn this. This is going to probably get about six, seven hours a day. Again, hopefully we'll keep the deer away from it. So down here, uh, you'll see we have, let me get this wire out of the way. We have the um, black semen tomatoes. As with most tomato seedlings, you want to plant them pretty far up their stem so we've done that we're going to harden them off i'll leave them out here for a half hour then i'll bring them inside under the grow light but for me this is kind of exciting so the episode tomorrow we're going to be showing you what the peppers look like in the new gardening series but i did these tomatoes just to see if a three-year-old tomato uh seed was still good but apparently these black semen to me seed tomatoes are really good they're a third generation from Texas. We'll see how it transplants to Pittsburgh. Of course, I have to wait till about May to put these out uh, to ensure we're past the frost date. So anyway, exciting time. First time outside. Uh, we're probably going to get the raised beds. They're going to be going over there in, in May. But until then, I'll use the green stalk garden. Until next time, Jeff, your executive gardener. Bye for now.